What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on 10 young players that will benefit, that could benefit, should, uh, well, that should benefit from the NHL lockout. Um, you know, as long as it's locked out, hopefully, like I said, it's not the whole season, but that will benefit from time of the minors during the lockout. And uh, I'm going to start off with uh, number 10. I talked about this, but the piece kind of got screwed up. Zach Ronaldo um, of the Flyers. You know, he, he's a guy who played last year with, with Philly and, uh, you know, hopes to build upon his game and, you know, expand what he can do from more from, more so from just dropping the gloves, uh, being a capable penalty killer, doing other things that will help the Flyers win games on a night-in, night-out basis. And uh, he's got the work ethic and motor. I think he'll do just that. Uh, number nine, Jaden Schwartz, who played, I think, nine games at the end of last year with St. Louis, uh, former Colorado College uh, standout. You know, he... he can take, take the time Peoria to really build his offensive game. He would be up with St. Louis. And I just think with a lot of these guys, it's almost all of them would be up. Um, actually, all of them would be up with their uh, NHL teams. And, uh, you know, having them play in the AHL, giving them time to develop with it, not down there thinking, what can I do to get called up? They're just going in and playing hockey and playing their game and letting their game develop at the next level. Same thing with Brandon Side at number eight. You know, he played three games last year with the Blackhawks, actually. I think we'll go to five because the uh, got a couple of playoff games too. You know, AHL time benefit him and when the lockout ends, he'll be a top six forward uh, in Chicago for sure. Number seven, Zach Cassian, another one. You know, needs his time, needs some more time in the minors, hone his craft, and really fine tune his game at the professional level. I think he can definitely be a top six forward of Vancouver. A uh, guy that can ride shotgun with the Sedines and you know open up room for them to, to do their thing. Uh, he's got the skill and the tenacity to do just that, so we'll see what happens. Number six, Devontae smith Pelly, Another one. Uh, I was up almost all last year with Anaheim, so the time with WJC. But uh, really, you know, he can expand his game from being a defensive, you know, checking specialist to being, you know, more consistent top six forward in time uh, in, in the AHL will definitely uh, serve him well. Number f six, Adam Larson. We saw what he can do last year. Uh, actually, number yeah, number five. Uh, Adam Larson, number five in the playbooks and number five in this list. Uh, he's a guy that can definitely, you know, he sat most of the playoffs last year. New Jersey went to the finals, but you know, we saw the skill level he has in those regions. The top uh, five pick in the draft in 2011. You know, he's one of the better young defensemen in the game, and a guy that I uh, will be relied upon by the Devils for years to come. To uh, to. Be the continue the lineage of great Devils defensemen. You know they haven't had that since Niedermeyer took his talents to actually since Rafalski went to, to Detroit. Forgot about him. He was obviously a great defenseman in his own right. Uh, next one, Jordan Caron, Boston Bruins. Same thing. I think he'd be great in that third line. Once the lockout's over, he showed he can do that at the end of last year. More time in Providence, help him fine tune his game, be ready to take the next step when uh, the work stoppage uh, is over. Uh, Chris Kreider. Next one. It's just twofold, and I, I'm not trying to knock him when I say this. I think it's good to kind of humble him. You know, it's a kid that went from the, right from the Frozen Four in Tampa to the New York Rangers in the playoffs. You know, got a one next championship at, at Boston College and was skating, and it's the only got playoffs two weeks later, you know, 10 days later. And, um, you know, the only hockey he's ever played the, at the pro levels in the NHL is the only got playoffs. Give him time to mind to kind of, you know, ride the buses. I'm not knocking him. I'm sure he's a great kid, but you know, humble him a little bit. So, you know, sometimes you got to work at it a little bit. Now that he has too much to work on. But uh, two things that he's been knocked on since he was drafted is his playmaking and his defensive awareness. I think defensive awareness will come with time. He was a capable penalty killer at Boston College, and, uh, you know, playmaking will come. He's a goal scorer first. But, you know, he'll learn to facilitate a little better. I think time the Myers with the Connecticut Whale will be, uh, be great for him. Uh, number two, Brett Connolly. Uh, like I said, another guy that plays on a good team. He definitely a guy that went right from junior C and NHL needs some to kind of go back and you know re recraft some things and really you know become more of a finesse guy and uh, you know get it done at the at the next level and I think he's got the skill set to do that and he's a uh, you know a great player that can definitely uh, help out San Luis and Stan Coast and the Cavier those guys going forward for uh, for years to come he would be a capable power forward along the same lines as Dave Andrewchuk up in quarter to say he reminds me a lot of Andrewchuk. Um, and that the, the power forwards don't necessarily rack up penalty minutes, but are great in front of the net. And at burying the tip ins, tap ins, rebounds, and deflections. Uh, to my top 10 list, I kind of did it out of order. And actually, oh, it's 11 totals. So I've gone about Michael Granlund. I think when he comes over, he is over. Uh, have him be with the Houston Arrows of the AHL will definitely help him 
adjusts his, his scheme to the North American level. He's highly skilled, highly, um, you know, great offensive forward. But, you know, let him adjust to the smaller ranks in North America. It's a big thing. And uh, when the when camp's opened, he'll be definitely a top six forward with the uh, Minnesota Wild, the new look Minnesota Wild. Uh, so I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ, the top 10 slash 11, depending on <laughs> uh, what you go by. Uh, players that can benefit from the uh, from the lockout. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the lockout and beyond. Later, guys.